Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica. Today I'm going to be doing a fall favorites video. Basically, it's just a couple of fall essentials for me and other things that I am currently super obsessed with and I want to share them with you guys. So if you followed me on my channel before or you follow me on Instagram, you know that basically I'm the happiest when I'm eating food and in particular fast food, junky, sugary food that like you shouldn't be eating. So a lot of the foods I'm going to be sharing isn't necessarily the healthiest, but it's stuff that I enjoy. So it's pumpkin spice season and just like everyone else, I enjoy a good pumpkin spice but one drink I'm really digging right now is Starbucks caramel apple spice but it's like four dollars and fifty cents for basically glorified apple juice so I set off to make my own but to do this you need a cinnamon dolce syrup that's what they add at Starbucks now Starbucks has one but on Amazon it's like thirty dollars for like a year supply and I don't need that much cinnamon dolce syrup once winter comes I'm ready for peppermint mocha so I only need it for a couple months and then I get my caramel apple spice quota and then I'm good to go for a little bit so I don't need a year supply of it so this is skinny syrup cinnamon dolce syrup this is the second one I've tried the first one I didn't like at all and I gave to somebody else it's zero calories zero sugar which if you follow me you know that's not something I care about I just like the taste of it and it works out well so I'm really in love with this it's super perfect and it was only about nine dollars on Amazon if you'd like anything that I've mentioned in this video I'll link it down below and you can find it and shop the links if you're interested in trying it too so if you're like me and you like a good caramel apple spice from Starbucks maybe you should consider trying to make your own the only drawback is it doesn't come with a pump so I kind of had to experiment a little bit to see like how much I wanted to use and so with the other kind you can see that this kind I haven't used all that much because I was experimenting with the first kind the most but about a tablespoon of this is how much you need to kind of have the same Starbucks taste but speaking of pumpkin spice I love using this kind this is just the Nestle coffee made pumpkin spice it's super cheap it's like two three dollars or something at Target or Walmart so sometimes I put that in my regular coffee or if I'm feeling really crazy I've got cold brew pumpkin spice now cold brew isn't sugary enough for me so I have to add other things to it and one day I did put pumpkin spice creamer in with my pumpkin spice cold brew and that was a little ridiculous would not recommend but other other sugary kinds like birthday cake, confetti, the cold stone, sweet cream, all of those creamers taste really good with this. So if you're like me and you like pumpkin spice and you don't want to drive 15 minutes to the nearest Starbucks, Caribou, Dunkin Donuts, this is a good alternative. I got this from Target and I believe I got this one from Walmart, but they probably carry both of them in both places, I would assume. It's just super easy before school. Um, I can throw together a coffee and then I don't end up in the McDonald's drive through getting coffee from there because I'm really trying to limit my McDonald's spending because I realized I spend way too much time at the McDonald's drive through in the morning. It's a problem and I'm trying to fix it. So another drink I'm really loving is this sparkling ice plus caffeine. It's about $1.50 each and if you're really obsessed you can buy it by the case but I have found enough of it where I live at the Target and at the Walmart that I don't need to buy a case. I just buy five a week and that's all I need. Um, this drink comes in several flavors. I've tried every single flavor but this is really the only one I like. Basically it's kind of like a crossover between a Sprite and a 7-Up and it has like the same carbonation of soda and when you pour it out it's that same yellowish color as like a 7-Up or a Sprite but you can leave it out overnight and it still has that carbonation so yes I must admit sometimes I drink this before bed because caffeine doesn't really affect me that much so I can sleep with a full one of these in me I can drink a venti coffee and go right to bed like that's not an issue for me and then if I don't finish it I can wake up the next morning and drink the rest and it still has that carbonation like soda but really it's water it doesn't taste like water. It's it's amazing. It's mystifying how great this is. But if you've never tried this, you should. It's all over Instagram for like the teacher gram. So if you follow a lot of teachers on Instagram, there's a chance that they've talked about this. But I don't really see much of them talking about the green flavor. A lot of them talk about the strawberry kiwi and then the blueberry, but I don't like those. This is personally my favorite and the kind that you should check out. I am the queen of junk foods, drive through foods, and just relatively unhealthy foods. So one night at Walmart, I was wandering the aisles, and Walmart has flags that say new on them. Well, I saw these, and I had to try it, because not only do I love mac and cheese, but I love Cheetos. So it's like the Kraft mac and cheese, like the three cheese flavor, if you know what I mean. And on the box, it even says, like, if you really want that extra cheesy, crunchy, creamy combo, you can put Cheetos on top of this. But personally, that's too much Cheeto. So I really like this a lot and you should try it. I do prefer the cups because it's just easier to eat at school or grab one when I'm kind of hungry. But like cost-wise, they're the same. Both of these are 94 cents. So like 
price wise you should get the box but like lazy me would prefer the cup but the box kind is also easier to find this goes out of stock way more often than the box so as I said I'm trying to prevent myself from going to McDonald's every morning and basically when I go to McDonald's I get an ice latte or a frappe and then I get one hash brown or sometimes I'll get a little crazy and I'll get a breakfast sandwich sometimes I eat school breakfast too when I get there if it's something I like but I'm trying to stop that because even though school breakfast is a dollar and a quarter my McDonald's is like five dollars every morning that adds up so this is my current favorite it is the philadelphia's cream cheese it's the pumpkin spice flavor and i like to put it on a plain bagel personally my boyfriend thinks i'm insane for how much i love pumpkin spice and he does not eat pumpkin spice so of course i needed the family size pumpkin spice cheerios all for myself because again I like pumpkin spice. That's my two favorite breakfast things right now is the pumpkin spice cream cheese on a plain bagel and the pumpkin spice Cheerios. Also, food wise, I love these kinds smoothie bowls. Smoothies, acai bowls in general, I'm very into. I love the fruit granola combo, but like the cleanup of a smoothie is so much work. You have to clean up the blender, you've got fruit you have to chop up and clean and wash, and it is a lot of work. So, in the morning, I don't want to be making an acai bowl because there's way too much effort going into it. So, I found these at Target um, a couple months ago. It's the kind frozen smoothie bowl this is the pineapple flavor they also have a berry flavor that i've seen and i tried both but i prefer this one which is strange because i don't eat very many pineapple things but this is super good it's almond and mango with pineapple passion fruit basically it's like the pineapple passion fruit puree and then it has like nuts on top and the granola and it's like the perfect mix so i eat it for breakfast at school or i just throw it in the freezer when i'm at school and i'll eat it for like an after school snack and it's just perfect. Speaking of smoothies, when I do make them, I like to use these glass straws. I also bought these off of Amazon. Kind of reminds me of like a Harry Potter wand that you can wave around. I used to use silicone straws, but then I had a bad experience where I thought one was fully clean and then I started using it and I sucked up some dried, nasty smoothie bit and ew. So I found these clear glass ones because then you can tell if they're clean or not and you can eat your smoothie without worrying about having anything gross in it. I like how it's like a larger straw too and then you can suck up bigger chunks of fruit. Sometimes when I make a smoothie I don't blend it all the way but you don't realize that until you get to the bottom so like this is a big enough straw that you can just suck it all up and you can finish your smoothie and you don't have to like find a spoon to scoop it out or anything. Another pumpkin related food but not spice are these pumpkin seeds. They're such a good snack. They're really high in protein and I remember as a kid taking the seeds out of pumpkins and baking them with my mom and salting them and stuff and well I miss those days with hanging out with my mom but I do not miss the cooking and the prep and all of that I would just rather buy it and eat it straight out of the bag so these are from Walmart I found them in the top shelf in the bread aisle and if you'd like pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds they're a good option I know some people put them on salads but personally I would just rather eat them plain my last food related item are these Scott and John's shrimp bowls. I got them at Target. You can't get them at Walmart, which is really sad. I know you can get them at like Trader Joe's or Aldi's or something like that, but those are like fancier places that I don't go. I consider Target a fancy grocery store, so when I go, I always get a couple of these. These are my favorite flavors, but they have a lot more to choose from. It's just a really good quality pasta and a really good quality shrimp, and I believe they're less than $5 a piece. So again, if you're like me, you're lazy, you don't want to cook, um, this is just an easy filling option. I like to make croissants with these, and it's just like an easy dish and a side of croissants, and it's just a good dinner. So this next favorite is incredibly random. I got it at TJ Maxx a couple months ago. It's this simple revitalizing eye roll. Is this gonna work? Maybe, maybe not. Oh no, maybe that's working. It's just this simple revitalizing eye roll on. Um, it's just a little tube and it has the little roller ball and then you just kind of squeeze and you roll on your eye. And at first I just thought it was like a total gimmick. And then as I kept waking up in the morning with my giant eye bags, cause I never go to sleep at a decent time. I never get like my full eight hours rest. It's more like six hours. I started noticing that my eye bags weren't as extreme and unnoticeable. I don't use concealer cause that's just too much work for me. So I found that this was a, just a really good option and it's very moisturizing too, especially in winter. My eyes like right here get really cracked and dry. So I've just been really enjoying this product. I got it at TJ Maxx probably for under $5, but I know Walmart carries um, the, like the same version of it. Feel like me and you have eye bags or you have like dry skin around in your eye region totally recommend. This next one is a classroom favorite. So my kids pre-COVID, they love being able to sharpen their own pencils. They like being able to sharpen many pencils at once. It's a good classroom job for my students and it's just something they can do if they have a couple minutes. There's a whole bucket of pencils that they can go sharpen. But obviously now with COVID-19 running rampant through the country, we can't have kids touching other kids' pencils and sharpening them. My old pencil sharpener, you have, you have to hold the sharpener and then push in the pencil at the same time so that you have enough force that the pencil actually gets sharpened. So then not only do you have to clean the pencil, 
pencil off if they're sharpening somebody else's pencil, but you also have to clean the pencil sharpener off between each kid. And that is a lot of work when I'm trying to juggle kids in person and virtual kids at the same time. So I set off to find a better pencil sharpener and I found this one. It's, um, I believe $30 on Amazon, kind of expensive, but I super duper love it. You'll notice in this video that it's totally one hand. You just set your pencil in there. You don't have to touch the sharpener at all. And then it actually pushes the pencil up when it's done. And you can see all of the pencil sharpening parts in there. And you can even see the little plastic from the pencils I hate. Because again, if you've watched previous vlogs, you know, I hate the plastic pencils from Target, but it sharpens them really well. And it basically tells the kids when their pencil is done. Whereas before we would just waste so much pencil because they never know when it's done and they have to keep pushing it in and out and in and out. Or some kids just jam the whole thing in there and they sharpen the entire pencil in like three days. So not only is it hands-free, but it's also clear if you know when to empty it. Whereas my old one was kind of a darker gray black and you never knew when you had to empty it until it just wouldn't sharp anymore. It was just so compacted full of pencil shavings, but also my favorite part. It is battery operated, but it has a little USB cord too. So if you're not near an outlet, you can put this wherever you want. It takes like two hours to charge it and then you're good for a while. Um, this has been in my classroom for a week now, I think, and I haven't had to charge it yet. So it's going really well. And don't worry, I didn't like throw the old one away. I gave it to the art teacher because whenever COVID is done, she always has lots of kids in her room that always have lots of various pencils that they need to sharpen. The only sad thing about this is it only is one size. So I have some students that have the bigger pencils that they use um, for like kindergartners, first graders. So it's just easier for them to hold the pencil and get in that proper handwriting and that pinch, pinch table grip. So this only takes like the normal Ticonderoga, not like the big, um, learner pencils. So that's the only sad thing. This one is incredibly random, but I stumbled upon this in Bath and Body Works the very first week that the fall stuff was out. Normally I don't fall for fall scents, fall candles, because I live in an apartment, as you can see, ooh, balcony. Um, we can't have candles. And I have so many lotions, not only for my Ipsy bag, or it's just like the go-to teacher gift, I guess. I get lotions every year for like Christmas and my birthday from students' families, which is great. I love gifts, but I have so many lotions. So, um, so I don't generally buy lotions or candles or anything like that for myself, but I was in there with some friends and I stumbled upon this and it's the marshmallow pumpkin latte and it looks like shaving cream, but it's not. It's lotion. And it kind of reminds me of like a, what a whipped cream or like a, a nice um, pie ready whip is. Um, I probably have a lot for my hands and I'm wearing pants, so I can't put any on my legs. I just, I really enjoy the foam consistency and it's just so different from other lotions that I have. It dries really nice. Um, as you can see, like there's no residue and it just smells like a marshmallowy pumpkin dream. So even though it looks like you're moisturizing with shaving cream, I mean, it's a lotion. It's really fun and just something random that I'm really enjoying right now. And I have a friend who works at Bath and Body Works and she said that this is kind of something that's like a tester thing. Most of their scents don't come in this little container. So I'm happy that I came upon it and decided to try it because I'm really enjoying it. The whipped body mousse lotion. The last item. As I said, I'm trying to avoid going to McDonald's. I'm trying to avoid going to Target and Dunkin' in general because I spend a lot of money there and I realize, but um, yeah, I was at Dunkin' today getting my pumpkin spice and basically I really love pumpkin spice. So when I stumbled upon this in TJ Maxx, it says, morning pumpkin, I had to have it. The only sad thing is it's not dishwasher safe and I'm lazy, I'd rather just throw my dishes in the dishwasher and have my dishwasher do all the work. But I have to hand wash this, so sad. But it's so worth it because not only is it Ray done, it's pumpkin spice themed. I got it for $9 from TJ Maxx. Um, not quite sure if I can find it and link it below, but I'll give it my best try. So if you're interested in morning pumpkin, you can have it too. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you made it this far, comment down below your favorite fall activity. Personally, I like going to pumpkin patches and I like going to apple orchards, but this year I just haven't with COVID and I've just kind of been busy with my Walmart life. Um, I would like to go to the apple orchard or a pumpkin patch, but it's kind of, even though it's September, like it feels like it's the end of the season already. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can continue seeing all my super awesome videos. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I randomly post because I don't have a posting schedule. Like this video if you liked this and you want to see more. Um, I could do like a winter's favorite. Do you like peppermint mocha? I love trying new things, new foods, new drinks, new scents, all sorts of fun things. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah.